<laughs> Did you guys see yesterday's funny, funny joke that I totally did on purpose? I just wanted to get a laugh out of you guys. Be sure to check out yesterday's video in which I make the funniest Splunky joke, throw myself at the mercy of a shopkeeper, get myself completely destroyed. Of course, on purpose, I would never succumb to such a filthy display of incompetence that is just not my style that is not what happens in around these parts when i'm actually trying i was just making a goof for this blunky daily challenge it is the first of october 2024 i'm gonna attempt can't make a promise that i will attempt to do this every single day until we achieve our goal well this is a problem isn't it this is a problem this damn shopkeeper is going to use that ladder to escape and now when i try to go back up he is going to be a major problem but probably we can make it happen so that the the punch totem hmm. oops my finger slipped on the trigger <laughs> uh probably should have a little bit more trigger discipline it's all right it's okay uh, he deserved it. absolutely deserved yang is a disgusting turkey diddler look at, look at this this daily challenge is out of control the daily challenge situation is crazy look at this absolute maniac i will yes i will take all of your wares visit no violence upon your person this is quickly becoming a level in which a level in which we have to spend quite some time son of a bitch you absolute son of a bitch i want this lizard destroyed please uh there you go down you go uh, and i want him to come on here and get, get himself punched that would be great but also he has the very real possibility of murdering me here's what we're gonna do uh instead of being silly, we're just going to circumvent him. Look at me, being smirk. The problem is there's a hamster that I very much require for Callie's favor. And he is stuck in that spot or per in perpetuity. There's no way he can come up here. I mean, he's not stuck. He's just waiting for the r right opportunity to destroy me. Because he's a filthy piece of scum. Check out this bomb. This is going to solve all my problems. This bomb. This bomb right here. That's done now. And now he's going to come down. And now he's going to go through the deal. Go through the gap. Okay, he's gone through the gap. I hate that we are so damn... Holy crap, man. The expenditure of ropes is also out of control. Bruh. <laughs> Another rope now. We can, we can make this happen. Yupla. All right, there you go. Uh, we have limited time for sure. Young, aka Antonio Banderas, needs to give me his flesh in the most lewd way possible. Unfortunately, we did not get to the Capala. We probably could have gone there if I had tried a little harder. We could use one of the the pile of uh, of flesh that we have all over the place, but. Ain't got no time. Holy shit. Okay, so he actually doesn't have a weapon, so really don't need to get so damn startled with my attempts. I said I'm gonna try and do this every damn day. It's gonna be a bit of a challenge, but I am committed. I am fully into getting the daily challenge victory. Perhaps my last my last real big challenge. Then I just bypass the key and I just like, oh, a key that doesn't interest me. This seems like something for idiots. Why wouldn't I grab it and throw it forward? We have the pitcher's mid, that's why that bomb throw was so much faster than usual. Holy crap, brother. All this to save myself a rope. I want you to appreciate that. Because I am dumb. <laughs> I just have no concept. I have no concept of what's uh, worthy expenditure. 
Get me out of here. Give me that shotgun. Moment of truth shall come extremely quickly. There's going to be... Oh, baby. It's going to be a shopkeeper. Come closer. Come closer and burn. Come on. You piece of trash. It's about to start shaking. Oh, baby. It's all right. It's all good. Oh. Kapala? Not yet. Not yet. Just a little try, a little bit harder. Uh, it, this should be safe. Sorry, Major Stupid, you'll get... <laughs> it's fine! Uh, listless, lifeless bug is still good enough for Kali. She doesn't really care. She'll just touch it on the snout and be like, come back to life, buddy. And forever accompany her in the realms beyond. I hate the fact that this man is like this. Wow. Uh, this is 100% worth two bombs. Check me out. Actually, it's just one bomb, right? Just put a bomb right here. Alert him to my presence. Get out of here. <laughs> what a, could have been bad. We don't care about idols in dwelling cities. Super not, what the? Super not worth it. Grabbing idols. Ooh, whoopee. 5,000? Damn. Why, why you had to go there, bud? I made you an escape hatch. Why you had to be like this? All right, we're good. And now we should be forgiven. There you are. Everything works out. Sorry. Sorry, Vigo. But once more, you get slaughtered in favor of my convenience. That cat, he was such a pain in the ass, I threw him in a blender. Then put him in a bag and threw him in the dumpster. That is not true. He died of what we can all agree was natural causes. Poor buddy. He was my buddy. Okay, off you go, you scum lord. Let me murder you real good. Oh yeah. All right, we're forgiven. We're going to Volcana. You know the drill. It is the way we do things around here. We are enacting the cosmic ocean. Bruh! Bruh! <laughs> I was distracted for a millisecond. Oh, jeez. Uh, forgiveness? 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 Why? Why? Excuse me? Wasn't there a message? Did I misread the message? Did I just... Did my brain fill in the blank? It actually said, you hear drums, but what... I swear on my mother's placenta, I read with my eyeballs, you are forgiven. But clearly I was not forgiven. wonder why that I did shoot him in the face, but I didn't kill him. And then I never harmed the other shopkeeper. So why was there a shopkeeper at the exit? Mystery. Quite mysterious development. Very strange. Good stuff. Oh, yeah. All right. I guess we are just descending. We have no skeleton key. This poor raptor <laughs> got so thoroughly roasted. Absolutely atrocious. He got sat in the MVP seat and 10 middling comedians went at him with pre scripted jokes. Very, very upsetting. Around these parts, we get Van Horseface and we get him out of there. Okay. We are team players. We know what it's like to be imprisoned for life. Quite the felon Margaret is. Do you think she became a dread pirate and there was no consequences to be paid? No. She has done her time in juvie. She has spent so much time just staring at a blank wall. This is a terrible idea. Don't do this at home, kids. Oop. Doing push-ups and burpees in her tiny 3x3 three three cell. I'm talking about meters. Where's my show? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Where's my shotgun? Did I really drop it into the lava? I do, would not let it pass me. To have dropped it into the lava, my tool of destruction, 
Let me uh, quickly get back up there. I dropped it. Oh, yeah, I remember. I dropped it inside. Like a buffoon, like an idiot. Like somebody that doesn't know himself. Doesn't realize that, you know, you are liable. Oh, man. Almost, almost full disaster came to pass. Bruh, there's just no way down unless you make it or you go straight into his maw. Okay, that's what I wanted to happen. Don't boot up, you scum lord! Okay, it's all good. Well, he managed to get up there somehow. <laughs> not gonna question it. We're just gonna keep going. I am finally forgiven. What a nightmare! Down it goes. Oh, yeah. Murder. Give me the blood. I do remember. I have the ability to get blood. And health in exchange of blood. I'm quite the vampire. Call me Nicolas Cage running through New York streets. Screaming at the top of my lungs. Okay, you sell nothing but absolute trash. I will still buy these ropes. We are now in a truce. Mr. Shopkeeper, Mr. Scumlord, Mr. Garbage Man. How the hell did this get so deep? What the? What the? Eh, we're just gonna go down the regular shaft. What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> uh, nothing bad will happen to me. Can I maybe whip this? That would be great. No? No whipping? No, it's actually doing the opposite. What the hell? All right, let's uh, go back around. I hate that the lava is just descending. I almost, I considered doing a shotgun jump in the worst way possible to piss off shopkeepers, but uh, that would have been real bad for me, so. All right, please, lava, stop descending. You scum, you piece of trash. This is just a nightmare. I really should be spending the bombs. Okay, I should be spending the bombs to make a shaft for myself. It's all good, though. We assumed the risk and we made it to the bottom. It's all good, Al. Did not see you, for I was too distracted. Looking at all the shinies. So anyway, we are... The, the goal, the focus, is obviously get to the Cosmic Ocean and beat it. And to give me the leg up, all I'm gonna do, and I'm going to count on it being enough, is ghosting Madame's tusks. Little treasure trove. And that should be enough to counteract the people that are not doing that, they're just doing $7.99 like they always do. Uh, it should give me probably like a, an extra 500,000, something like that. So, that is, that is the work in theory. Come on, you can do it. Get wrecked, son. Absolutely destroyed the filthy piece of trash. And there's no real reason to remain around these parts, is there? I mean, there is a little bit of cash there. And we, I mean, I'll go out of my way to grab gems here and there. I'm not above being a total loot whore. Hello, bud. You have done well. You please me. Your performance is adequate. Okay, make sure that, you know... You always gotta make sure that things are properly triggered. Give me the cash, and uh, let's create a blood engine. That, has, that was my PhD in college, so I'm very well versed in the dynamics of using blood for fuel. All the seepage that happens, all the eldritch gods that come around trying to get their due. Uh... This blood engine, though, it is missing a, a very important component, which is the perpetual blood drinking machine. But it's okay. In lieu of infinite blood, I'll just take a lot of it, all right? Stop grabbing the damn shotgun! Ah! My shotgun, you idiot! Okay, if you survive this ordeal, you are worthy of coming with me, Gronk. You are the ultimate survivor. Withstood the giant body pummeling of 2024. What an incredible MVP. Well done, Gronk. 
I trust you will con please please do not shove firearms in front of the person who can ruin everything. Stop running. Bruh. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> anyway, we got to do this, unfortunately. Uh, I think at least 70% of my gripe for the entire Cosmic Ocean requirement is the... is Ho Yi's bow. Having to babysit this bow is such a bummer. Just here I am, just digging straight down like a... like a Eurist in Dwarf Fortress. We're going to dig too deep. Well, absolutely nothing, huh? That is my incredible reward for digging through this nonsense. Absolutely nothing. Amazing. I guess we're just going to get a little bit of money. There's a vault over there that we shall not partake of. We do not care about it. Probably grunk by now. It is very busy. Shooting. Rat face in her ugly mug. I will forever maintain that's a rat. That ain't no... No hamster. Okay, Gronk. I mean, you are very eager to follow me around. Don't know if I'm comfortable with you wielding that shotgun, though. <laughs> How about... We just leave you right there and we just rush to the end. I hate everything about this, so we're just going to spin a bomb, getting rid of that entire problem. <laughs> it was just upsetting to witness. Grunk, you gotta make it, bud. You gotta be a brave fellow. Hell yeah. We we buy those. Let me get to the exit real quick before Grunk kill himself, okay? Well done! What a trooper. My voice echoes. Okay, bud. You are now mostly well-trained. Let's see how long you last without getting into trouble. Oh, baby. Okay, it's all good. The bat made me terribly nervous. We gotta work around it. There's no rush. Grum makes it. Well, that's great. We get a nice extra hand to carry things. If he doesn't make it, no skin off my teeth. No sweat off my back. There is no reason to give a damn about that. Hired hand filth. Okay. We wait. We grab the arrow. We carry on. Wow. Okay, let's uh, hurry through the end. <laughs> what a trooper. Amazing. He didn't bring me his shotgun though. Well, that's actually okay. The shotgun was a bit of a liability. I'll be honest, I have no memory of how to do the Olmec, the Olmec shortcut. I really don't mind. Let's simply do regular Olmec. It hasn't been quite a while since I do it anyway, so I have no problem doing it. And there is the bow getting put into the, the gloop platform. There you go. Can you tell that I was totally doing a goof and not being incompetent? In our first attempt? Absolutely. How dare you even doubt me? This is not this is not this is not good. Let me just get rid of you. Reposition you please. Oh. <laughs> that was that was not the best strategy that I could have followed. I am of course doing this if you're wondering why is Olmec so happy all uh, suddenly. Uh, I am doing this on vanilla Splunky because I want to be measured against the rest of the daily challengers. I guess I could just do the daily challenges on, challenge on a modded version and then just go online to see how it compares. But that requires an extra step of work and I am a lazy piece of garbage that will not do, go and do that. So we are playing on Vanilla Spelunky 2. We have Margaret without an eye patch, all the baggage and all the atrocious things that she has done uh, against Rafi. That has not yet come to pass. Is that a jetpack? No, it was just a sapphire. <laughs> I was like, ooh, there's a jetpack in the wall. I'm seeing things. Being, it, it was just wishful thinking. Okay, bud. We're almost there. We're almost there. Uchua. 
And now one more step. And Splunky 2 gives you quite the grace period to get through here. It's not like they scramble to get through the exit like HD does. You get your time to reflect upon your life choices. Quite the schizophrenic narrative. When I think back about the release of Splunky 2 and all the silly lore stories that I told around Margaret's descent into depravity and Rafi bashing and the long con that she played on Rafi to be ultimately sacrificed as the fl flesh that would give birth to Paco reborn. There's some, I don't know, a, a, a degree of mental illness there, I think. <laughs> anyway, let me just... Let me just... Go down here, put you back to sleep, bud. So anyway, here we are. We need... To go to... Um, Am I correct in this? Actually, I'm not sure. Does Tusk show up? Even if you don't go to the tide pool? I'm pretty sure she does, right? It's just that you don't get the chance to go in there uh, free of punishment. It's been too long, buddy. It's been too long. Too dang long. Way too long. There's no real reason to go left. Let me just uh, do this. Uh, please, I do need, I do need to hit that. All right, it's all good. Major Stupid was far too eager, and now he just gets punished as a, as a reward for his stupidity. Okay, that is actually going to get him in there. For some reason, I'm fixated on saving this dog. What do you want me to say about it? Just attached to a little shit, okay? I am just fond of him. He's going to make it to the exit. It's not hilarious like it used to be to just gratuitously murder the damsel right next to the exit. The damn dog doesn't appreciate it. It's very annoying. The cruelty that I can inflict upon him, it is completely lost on him. So it's so not worth it to be a piece of trash and kill him right as you get to the end. Uh, with the exiting sight. Thanks, Derek! You stole this joy from me when playing Spelunky. Of just uh, obliterating the hopes and dreams of damsels. Thanks a lot! Alright. Anyway. Let's get to the damn exit. Do I want to keep this pickaxe? I don't know, man. That's an awful hot coffee pot! I don't know if I want to hold it. What the? You're far too eager to come up in my presence, Yangshi. To get you murdered? Uh, nah. We don't care about bur uh, about uh, digging in Spelunky 2. If this was HD, I would be liberating as many gems as possible, doing all the the the, the hoopla, the hoop de do. The flip-flop, the flim-flam, the sporging, but no, there's no sporging. We're just going to win. Look at me being a good Samaritan. Oh, amazing. I mean, that being said, I have no shotgun, right? By the way, probably Gronk is dead right now. <laughs> he uh, is a very well-behaved slave. Not so well-behaved that he will stay asleep for the entirety of the level. Let's see if he actually made it. He he may have been just trapped. Hey, what a, what a trooper, buddy. What a trooper. Well done. You absolute buffoon. You asshole. You disturbed Gronk's sleep. What a piece of trash you are. Uh, we uh, I just realized that we have stompers, so we don't really care too much about anything. How about the stupid-ass uh, spikes on these octopi? La, 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 la. All right, please. Let me just get through here, and I just now realize that I have the means to get down here. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just low in the head, okay? Stop judging me. My wife did not marry me for my brains. He took one look at the schlong, and she was like, Oh, hell yeah, sign me up. I don't care that you cannot bang two neurons together. I don't care that you think... The weather report is able to tell uh, uh, the future with accuracy. I don't care if you believe campaign ads from politicians 
like they are actually telling you the truth. Check out that cork. She could not resist it. Yes, I will partake of this because it actually makes you almost break even. And obviously we want the clone gun. Uh, that being said, it has been so long that I have my doubts. I'm actually able to do this. Come on, I have a jetpack. I'm, I can't possibly sandbag myself into believing that I am not going to get all of these damn torches lit up. You just got lit up, friend. Get absolutely destroyed. We've been watching the wife and I suits. It was weird to see the Duchess of Sussex on the screen. I think that's her actual title. Don't quote me on that. Uh, especially, you know, the media. And I have no idea. Like, I have no real concept of what it's actually like. But hell, does the media and the and YouTube videos love hating on this woman. I have no idea what the truth is on that lady, but it was super weird to see her as an actress. And especially in the first seasons, she gets pretty sexualized. Like she is quite the sex kitten in the, <laughs> in the first uh, the first season or so. She's, you know, all the kind of, of gratuitously gratuitous camera pans and that kind of thing, you know, you know what I'm saying? Which I have no real problem with, but it's very obvious that they're doing it. So it's like, uh, oh, don't worry, buddy. Don't worry, love interest. She went on to be the prisons of the United Kingdom. So, you know, did they just get poisoned? I have no idea. I cannot tell whether I'm poisoned or not right now. <laughs> I don't think so. A camera, huh? What is this? What is this? 1997? Where cameras are standalone objects and not something that just comes bundled in your devices? Silly, Derek. What is this set in the past? No! We have rockets! And, and still you give me a freaking camera. Anyway, we really don't care about anything that's happening here. What we do want to grab this clone gun give it to one of these idiots uh i honestly don't know which one is the good one the good one must be the one that's asleep obviously yeah okay, you can do that grab it you fool fine fine that's fine what's happening down there is fine just don't kill each other you idiots give me the sword and we're going to the exit i'm watching you you better take him under your wing gronk one gronk two is very rough around the edges. You can't possibly trust him just yet. Okay, bud. You are going to sleep. You are going into the spikes. And now we carry on. We try to find the way down. We like. Uh, oh, oh, oh. I almost tried to stomp him. Being a total idiot. There you go. Very nice. Uh, we gotta do the shortcut, bud. Gotta do the shortcut. And that is a thing that I, I'll be honest, I am going to screw up. So I'm very tempted to actually spend the life so I don't lose the jetpack. Because that will be heartbreaking, bud. That will be a real throw. And in fact, I really need to uh, hurry up a little bit. Is that the exit? Yeah, that's the thing that we need to do. Okay, so clearly we put the bomb here. Maybe what I need to do is throw the jetpack. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. Don't be a, a pussy. And be certain that you're going to make it. I w I'm, you know, always hopeful that there's actually a path. Really? Oh, yeah, bud. <laughs> Give it to me. Oh, 36,000 for your eight health. A little too steep. But... I just have this feeling that there's going to be an entrance right here. Never mind. <laughs> it's alright. We got climbing gloves. We got spring shoes. Uh, if I lose the jetpack, well, it's not the end of the world. We're still working on it. I have one minute. I don't trust Gronk doing this, right? What am I doing? I need to... I need to go through here. 
I only have one minute. I, I need to trust Gronk that he's not going to lose my clone gun. We're just going to do this. I sense danger beyond that door. So do I, but so do I. But we're going to be just fine. I need to look this up. I apologize for my incompetence. Do I trust myself? No, I do not trust myself. But we're going to attempt it. Uh, we have very nice blocks right here. Very nice blocks. Oh, amazing blocks. Okay. You hold up, right? You hold up. <laughs> that is what I've been... I spent like five minutes... I spent like five minutes trying to find a good guide because none of them mention whether... Like, you you put it here. You put it here. Like, do you hold up while you put it on? Or do you just throw it while you're facing away? I'm sure that the guide I made, which I didn't look because I'm stupid, <laughs> it does mention that specifically. But I vaguely remember you are supposed to be holding up. So that's what just happened. Hope for the best. There you go. All right. It's all good. Crisis averted. It was a very upsetting. And the exit is right here. We don't have to worry about it. So let me... Uh, Let's just go through and hope that Gronk survived. Does he have a, cl a clone gun? Yes, he does. Well done, Gronk. Your reward is death. All right. I mean, that was a trained, <laughs> a trained slave, so probably should have kept him. He still is slightly helpful. Going forward, he gets to hold whatever the hell you want him to hold. But whatever. It is too funny. To reward loyalty and competence with immediate murder. It just gives me a giggle, okay? It's the same giggle that I will get from getting damsels destroyed right before the exit. It just makes me laugh. And I'm gonna do it. Damn it. Pow. Give me that extra health. And we... Because, you know, it, it does allow you to carry the sword going forward. And that it has value. It is not completely worthless, but it's fine. It's fine. We are sticking with this plan. Told you that it was all a goof when I died two minutes into the daily challenge. It was all for the jokes. I, I did it on purpose. Do die now. You die now. And now we find Gloop and we get to drop this clone gun. And then we carry on with our lives. Like I said, I'm not going to go out of my way to get money. Well, that was coincidental. I was not even looking for you, you idiot. That's right, he is actually Waddler because I don't have the change text file in this particular instance of Spelunky. That was just in the interest of letting that Yeti explode. There is no reason to piss off these people. What I will do is just take this idol and, and giggle as this... Okay. <laughs> Nobody to blame by myself. Nobody to blame by myself. What do you want me to do about it? That was a foregone conclusion and for some reason I didn't see it happening. I just figured that the boulder would not reach to the other damn side of the screen. But well, what the hell do I know? I'm just too silly to consider the consequences of my actions. That's why I've been married seven times. I never learn. I have to restart my life seven times over. It's okay, okay. This idol will totally make it to the bottom. We actually have um, spike shoes, so we really shouldn't be doing this. Because there's hardly anything to be gained. You get a little bit of blood, you get a little bit of stuff. So there's really no reason. I mean, the, the extra ropes are nice. Whatever, just just drop like a stone. This idol is totally gonna be. Oh yeah, still still there. In fact, I can just come in here. Hey, yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's not do that. <laughs> let's not do that. Still pissed off, shopkeeper. He managed to get stuck somewhere. Oh no, it's just the the vault idiot, the most ignored shopkeepers in the entirety of Spelunky. It is sad. It makes me sad. That vault dwellers don't even get... You don't even have an incentive to do it in the daily challenge. It's just so silly. That is perhaps my strongest argument against doing some kind of tweaks to the daily challenge. 
because you never ever engage with vault shopkeepers and the vaults into themselves unless you're super sweaty try harding so much <laughs> try harding so much that you are actually trying to do a score run remember twiggles 10 hour score runs that sounds like a fun time in spelunky 2 doesn't it <laughs> that doesn't sound like a complete nightmare at all it's just wrong for score runs to be 10 hours long it's just <laughs> it really sounds like a outright design flaw i'm just gonna face tank this one pal i guess it was butt tanking it what is going on with this level bud there is uh no way out oh wow i'm glad i waited because i could have easily got a murder by that okay, we're going down very slowly Huh, no shopkeeper. They probably got crushed by this elevator, right? Uh, because they got pissed at me, that's for sure. And now I'm, not, now I'm forgiven. Pow! Incredible ability to throw rocks in a straight line. Alright, we got Kali here, which is not something that I care about right now. But we're still going to give her her due anyway. Let me get rid of you. She deserves it. She has enabled me to be ultra powerful, so why not? Give her her due, do some good worship. Uh, we do need to find the place. Okay. We got ruined everything right here. Why am I going? Why am I coming up here? <laughs> oh wow! And it's a permanent one. How wonderful! <laughs> Oh, that went down the wrong pipe. I got too excited. Uh, well, thanks, Derek, for creating this situation where if I didn't have a bomb, we would be soft locked out of the <laughs> game. Actually, I could also commit suicide and resurrect uh, outside of it. But what a nightmare. <laughs> what a nightmare I've created. Uh, all right, all right. Let's just stop the excitement. We have too many things going on. Uh, let's find ourselves the place it does exist in must it is a requirement i hate these monsters i hate them somehow i have managed to suffer damage to perhaps the most worthless and pathetic enemies in the entirety of the game Let me just get rid of you do not get shot all over the place and we are ooh, we are close we're close Son of a bitch. Freaking <laughs> traps all over the damn place. All right, bud. Give me the Tablet of Destiny. Cracked Jade Vortex. Not in my immediate vicinity. Cracked Jade Vortex. There's a smiling vortex. Mm, not down here. Not down there. It is guaranteed to exist. Cracked Jade Vortex. There it is. Careful though. Alright, we got it. Get to the exit. Oh, somewhere around here. I, I'm sure I came in through s some means. There. Oh, weird. Alright, give me that money too. And uh, this is a, a little nightmarish. <laughs> that was. Uh, Upsetting as hell. Alright, we put this at the exit. But there's something else I wanted, though. What was it? Oh, the idol, of course. I think it's worth at least one bomb. Get rid of that. And get rid of that. Two bombs for the idol. Probably not worth it in the slightest. We're watching out, though. We're watching out for danger. Okay. There you go. But damn it, is the daily challenge on try harding where we're going to do it. Probably will. I will uh, dearly regret what I just did. Because the extra two bombs almost touched that shit. <laughs> the extra two bombs will make all the difference. I guess we'll see. Get rid of you. Here comes the disgusting liability. Let me grab you by the ears. I don't even need you. I have a jetpack, bud. 
why did I even, why did I even go out my way <laughs> to get this thing when I have a jetpack in my back? It's okay. It's okay. He is our backup plan. Put you there. Should be able to just go in, right? All right. We're going to case the joint. Is what we're doing here, because we are ghosting this vault. Quite certain you can grab the idol, right? You can just grab the idol. I am almost positive about this. And leave. Let me be sure to do this. Okay. You just get the idol for the incredible ability of being on her good graces. You get a free idol. Just like that. Ow. I just want a, a beeline to the exit. That would be great. Correct. I hate everything about this. Just get rid of you. But this is like the entirely the wrong path. Yeah, we don't want to come down this path in any capacity. <sighs> I hate this. So we're going to blow it up. Where's the exit? Oh, baby. <laughs> this, this is the wrong path altogether. Everything is bad. Finally, we found the damn exit. What a nightmare. All right, we got lots of time. Thanks to our incredible ability to grab a four-leaf clover. So this fella, he can ruin my life. The aim is to stick him with a bomb in the face at the very last moment. Ah, I thought that I had the time in there, right? Oh, shit. Don't kill me! <laughs> I was I tried to stomp him. Ow. Huh. That is not good. But he might jump at it though. You piece of trash! Eat it! Oh! Well, he gave me a second chance and I squander it! Get me out of here! <laughs> oh! My beautiful lunk! Everything's fine. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> uh, everything's fine. Don't worry. <laughs> it's not going to plan. Come on, get get lasered. How are you even able to avoid the laser? No! <laughs> the greed. The greed ruined everything. Well, it is good thing that we have a backup plan, isn't it? It's not all lost. I still have spring shoes. Oh! Completely forgot that this is still a nightmare. So, oh man, I almost freed the lava there. That would have been bad. That would be extremely bad. Come on, man. Okay. Okay. Give me the shotgun! I don't even have a means to enter this land. Terrible mistakes have been made, okay? Terrible mistakes have been made. You could argue it is time to cut your los losses, Blargo. What did I just do? <laughs> just casually jumping over some bullets. Just enter the matrix real quick. Don't mind me. Uh, was I protected by the immunity? Maybe. I only have one minute. I need to grab this uh, this flying moron and cut my losses. There is no ghost in this vault. I tried, but uh, the plan to eliminate the... <laughs> the plan to eliminate the bodyguards was slightly flawed. All right, it did not work out in my favor. It is time to cut my losses. Fine, fine. Come with me, you dumb creature. You silly tiger dog. With the incredible ability to fly. You're still alive! This is bad. You're not alive anymore. <laughs> Get on there. Alright, alright. Problem solved! <laughs> alright. <laughs> Get me out of here. This has been a... Uh, Complete disaster! Ever since the uh, the 
saliva went down the wrong path. It just completely threw me off my game. Stop making fun of me. Uh, we are min-maxing this bitch. We're Splunky 2 guys, of course we min-max the blood of my enemies. Get, me, get you murdered. That point of health is going to make a giant difference. Don't think that I don't. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Tempted to shoot you straight in the mouth, rat face, but... We are moving on to the sunken city. It's alright, there's going to be an amazing jetpack. In the walls of the sunken city. The incredible ultra technology. After all that work that I did, after all that work, let's just say that skipping the Ankh actually enabled this entire run to continue, as opposed to just ending it where it would have just ended next to that filthy. I really shouldn't do this before knowing what the level looks like, but I kind of need this health. I am liable to explode in a million pieces if I don't get this health. All right, all right, let's get used to not having a... Hey, we get a very early gloop, that's very nice. Let's get you murdered. So what we want, really, we gotta wanna leave that, go in there, grab the clone gun, and go forward trying to find Ratface, which is immediately here. Okay. Very upsetting. Immediately here, so this is good. And I have exactly two bombs, huh? Well, we gotta make it work. Thankfully, they are sticky. So I should be able to do one of these. And do one of these. And we should be without trouble now. There is no danger anywhere. Ah, these guys can come back to life and give me big, big trouble. They can be annoying as hell, but thankfully this doesn't seem to be any necromancer close by, so it's all good. We can just wait this out. It's been quite the Spelunky 2 run. feel like in Spelunky 2 there's so many more ups and downs. There are so many other th things that can go so much wronger than your standard Spelunky run. We're going this way because there may be money. All right. Well, now I am liable not to win the daily challenge even if I make it to 7.99 because I do not have a vault in my pocket. And I have spent a lot of resources to get here. We only have 221,000. That is ass. That is not enough cash. So, you know, holy crap, I almost lost the damn. Here, get Rex on. Holy crap, <laughs> almost get destroyed by the arrow bouncing back straight into my face. All right, we got the hose bow. Ooh. Let's get out of here. The health toll is acceptable. We have a cape. It's fine. Everything's fine. Let's go up this way. 99 uh, bombs, 99 ropes. That is a hell of a pile of resources not pretend like we are kind of screwed we just we're just not optimal that's it we are as close to optimal as you can be without a jetpack and i guess without the Vlad vladscape it would like don't let me sugarcoat it it's going to be a massive challenge to do the damn cosmic ocean with just with just a cape you are likely to eventually encounter a jetpack in the walls though You know what? We wanna we wanna get rid of this nonsense. Get rid of all that trash, and in fact we can be real diligent people. Get ourselves an idol. Use a rope to be safe around these parts. Nice, nice. Yes, yes, yes. Give me the the good health. Looking around, be sure that this arrow shan't be lost if I do something like that. Let's get to the top. I'll drop the bow and then I'll come back for the idol because the idol dots make quite a difference uh, when you're this advanced, you know. I think at this rate, at uh, this level is a good 30,000. It's a good chunk of change. It's not completely trivial. All right. <laughs> 
made the water flow upwards. Get me to... Get me to the exit. Way, way back, going back to mentioning suits. Didn't expect to get into the... Oh, wow, 35,000. Uh, we did get into the show quite a lot, but... Man, the interpersonal drama is always so damn predictable. The back and forth of the dynamics in the workplace, even though it gets annoying sometimes, the massive egos on display, like the entire show is about that, the massive egos of these high-powered lawyers, you know? So you, you go in expecting that. What you don't expect is the super by-the-numbers romance plots and... Uh, love triangles, all that kind of silly nonsense. Uh, the show could use with less of that. Or, like, if you want to do it, maybe do it a little bit more competently. <laughs> Don't be so damn predictable. We, It's kind of become an in-joke between the wife and I to predict exactly what's going to happen in relationships and stuff like that. Uh, well... They got in each other's face, but now this is going to happen. Oh, uh, she's going to totally uh, be weak and she's going to kiss the guy, but then she'll be very, very sorry about it. That's exactly what, what the... Exactly what came to pass? It's like, uh... Anyway. Anyway, I'm trying to say... Really good show for the workplace intrigue. And, you know... Lawyering procedurals. We're currently in Season 4, which I understand is the absolute weakest of the entire show. And I totally believe it because it was kind of an annoyance half the time. But the internet tells me, because I was like, man, does, does this show get, go completely off the rails and it becomes a total piece of crap? But no, Season 4 apparently is kind of ass or, you know, weaker than the rest. And then it, it gets so much better. So we're still, you know, every time we have dinner, we have a good time together watching the TV. Making fun of the protagonist's gigantic forehead. Could land an airplane over there. You can make a corporate deal to lease that land. What the? What are you doing? <laughs> like just casual, no big deal. Final boss of the game. Let me just casually walk up to him <laughs> just say, say hello to chicken snake you idiot this is a mistake what are you doing oh no man I, I have completely forgotten how to fight this thing center yourself idiot there you go that should be good enough for the chicken yeah we're good with chicken and now we stomp I don't care what Dan Giesling says, all of his freak accidents fighting this creature. It is 100% safe to stomp him if you do it right, which is just just waiting over here, having the, having the snake come over. Actually, I should be doing it from here. I was there, okay, when he died trying to stomp the singular snake. Hopefully, it's not about to happen. There you go. <laughs> uh, good. Uh, and I fully reassured him. Look, it's 100% safe because I had never died to it, but he managed. He found a way. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Look at me being ultra greedy. This is me being greedy. Check me out. Give me the cash. Give me the cash at the bottom. There's all kinds of cash. And we go into the Cosmic Ocean. You thought that I was an incompetent buffoon that I didn't got it anymore. No. I am a Cosmic player. Now, are we going to go anywhere near the end here? Well, that is into question, okay? That is into question. But I am going to try my best to grab the money. Grab the money, of course, harvest blood. Man, it's been a while since I was here. It's been a long while. Of course, be greedy for all the crates. Even explode some areas, because in the Cosmic Ocean, these gems are worth a pile of money. And that's another reason why trying to get money 
in the rest of the game before you came, come here is kind of ass. Because it gets so blown out of the water by the money that you get. Just by gathering the cash in the Cosmic Ocean. Becomes a tiny, tiny proportion. Look at that. A single pile is worth like, what, 4000 Yeah, 4100 Whereas if you go out of your way to get money in dwellings... Oh, congratulations on your pathetic $1,500 pile. It's trash! Oh, yeah. Gimme, give gimme. Give give uh, just trying to find... Ball number two so that we can go back and grab the one that's next to the exit. Don't arrow me, though. Kind of forgot to grab myself. Oh, there's an enemy there. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's just a dog beetle. All right. So good. Is it a whole year since I come into the Cosmic Ocean? Very possible. Very possible. All right. We have time. We have time. Don't worry about it. Okay, looking for a jetpack in the walls. That would be great. Give me dwellings all day, every day. I want to spin a bomb to get these gems, but I don't think it's going to happen. It was, it did happen. Wow. Uh, where are the ca Where's the cash, though? It just vanished. It disappeared. Stop existing. What the hell? There's the gem. It's mine. It belongs to me. I'm going to... Ah! All right. <laughs> That's number, number two. I don't need to be looking away from it. Yeah, that's number two. All right, okay. I need to go out of my way to get money. The single ingots, we don't really care. We don't really care about. I mean, I'm not gonna go out of my way to get money. I'll just make sure to grab whatever I come across. That's it. This is good stuff. Uh, and of course we need the last ball. Would appreciate it if it existed. Alrighty. That's an arrow trap that I could have easily died to. <laughs> you guys see it? Because I only saw it after the fact. This cape is going to be my demise, brother. <laughs> it's going to be terrible. Okay. Volcana, we don't go up. We always go down. Why will you do that? Now there's a freaking pot of fire in the loop. I am idiotic. Don't trigger that. That would be silly. Okay, that's number one. We are looping already. All right, all right. Good stuff. Let's see if we can find good uh, outliers in the outside. Not getting to any kind of weird discussion. Let's leave the intricacies of... Of... Uh, UK politics where they belong, which is in the garbage. Nobody cares about the United Kingdom and their silly royal nonsense. Do you guys know that there is also a Spanish royal family? I want this cash. I want it. I must have it. Grew up knowing all about the freaking Spanish royal family. It was such a pain in the ass to always constantly be uh, alerted to their comings and goings like I gave a shit. Not going to subject myself to the British one now. Even though we did watch the entirety of The Crown, it is a lot more fun when it's dramatized in a in a show. Uh, the money has just stopped existing. I literally spent bombs <laughs> to <laughs> liberate these gems. They don't exist anymore. Don't like it. We carry on in the Cosmic Ocean. All right, here's our opportunity to get ourselves a pile of health. Playing against the inevitable poisoning that we're about to suffer. Step number one, we need a body. Hello, body. We're about to wield you as our line of defense. Apologize for this terrible humiliation. Post-mortem. And here we go. I really shouldn't be doing this so early. I should be going out of my way to explore. Make sure the level is easy, right? At the very least, we can grab a bunch. A bunch of good health. 
Ah, trying to remember my own guide for the Cosmic Ocean. That stuff is so ingrained in my brain that it really is all very fresh. If I die here, it will prob probably be not because I had a terrible... a terrible lapse of uh, decision-making. It was just a performance issue. It was a skill issue. It will not be... Uh, Bad and continue lapse of judgment. Okay, we're done. We're done with this nonsense. We got 50 health. That is plenty for me. Hoopla. Good crush, bitch. Uh, you need to get destroyed. For some reason. Could have teleported into my head. <laughs> it should have. To teach me a lesson. Okay, there's nothing here. We are careful. We're slow. We check things out. There's the exit. There's a bubble. No, 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 Are, uh, almost at the limit of time. Turns out it was a very big level. And I was playing stupid games. Now I'm going to win the stupidest prize. Hey this is bad. Please give me last bubble. I need blast bubble. 15 seconds to last bubble. Mm. Go down this way, I guess. Oh, that can kill me, right? Please! Well, it's here. Hello? There you are. Alright, well. Now we have to be even more patient. There's no real time limit. The time limit is all in your head. You just gotta be real patient. Slow, methodical traversal. There it is. We found it. We found it. It's all good. Now, of course, it's going to be a, a nightmare to have both. So I think what I'll do, since, you know, we have lots of bombs, lots of one to spare, we're going to make a path. Make a path where we shall be undisturbed. Hello. Never mind, the path was strained to the grave, and I've been thoroughly humiliated. <laughs> I was trying to make it easier, you son of a whore! I need to see the, the scores here. Wow, did I do? How did I do? 7-8. Look, I mean, position 30, how dare you? How can this be? You people are too good at the video game. How you get to 732 with 119,000? That is just outrageous. Outrageous. But look at how far along Marlock, Marlock, Murlock and Symbol Ensemble. Dave made it. Simong made it. We never had it, the chance. The thing is, look at the score. 799, 1.34 million. There is a chance. All I need to do is the easy, easy task of making it to 799. Easy mode. Next time we'll get it.